A new discovery caught our attention today as it emerged that the sole friend of the Pharaoh and keeper of secrets tomb has been uncovered near Abu Sir. Archaeologists found the remains of a statue with inscriptions referring to a priest named Karis, who was sole friend of the king and keeper of the secret of the morning house. The archaeologists aren't sure which pharaoh the inscription is referring to, but they have some clues. The tomb complex was found near a pyramid belonging to the pharaoh, and another of the titles recorded on his statue says that Karis was inspector of the priest serving in the pyramid complex belonging to Neferakari. The statue lists several other important titles held by Karis, overseer of all king's works, and foremost of the House of Life, which was a library of sorts that contained papyri that recorded knowledge on a variety of subjects. The archaeologist said in the statement, very few papyri dating back more than 4,000 years have been found in Egypt. That's the bit that has got our attention peaked. This guy was a major figure, so trusted in fact that he overseen and influenced the king. He was a keeper of knowledge for the house of life. Houses of life are known to have existed at Abydos, Akamim, Insna, Edfu, Coptis, Memphis, and Akitaten, the last, the only one to have been identified as such by archaeologists thanks to practice seal impressions on the bricks of the building's walls. Despite the small number of known houses of life, it has been suggested that all sizable towns and major temples had one. There were seemingly houses which were part of temples and others which were at least physically separated from any temple. At Akhetaten, it was close to the storage chamber of documents of Pharaoh, where the royal administration kept its correspondence, some distance apart from the Aten temples. But a papyrus from the first half of the 6th century BC, containing the rituals performed during the Feast of the Earth at a temple in the Delta, possibly in Heliopolis, seems to suggest that the House of Life was part of a temple, unless it was considered a temple itself with its own timinus, it reads, Stopping by the king at the chapel of the House of Life, which is in the great seat, for Amen-Ra, lord of the throne of both lands, Horos, who is in Shinat, Horos, lord of the cult of the House of Life, Horos, lord of the House of Life, Sekhmet, who is above her fire cauldron in the House of Life, Isis, mistress of magic in the House of Life, Kunum, foremost of the house of life, Sheshat, in the temple of Seshat, the royal Ka of Pharaoh, sacrifices for the gods who are in the court of the house of life. More explicit in placing firmly inside a temple is the stela of Horwinifer, who lived under the Ptolemies and bore the title of learned in every chest of the house of life. The late period papyrus salt 825 concerning which it had been suggested it could be entitled Ritual of the House of Life contains liturgical text the purpose of which is the conversation of life. It gives a description of the house where the sacred books at the time referred to as souls of Ray were kept. One description regarding these very ancient places of knowledge reads the four outer walls are of stone. It has two stories. Its foundation is sand. Its exterior is jasper. One is placed to the south, another to the north, another to the west, another to the east. It is very hidden, unknown, invisible. Nothing save the solar disk sees it. It escapes men that go there. The sun's librarians, the treasure scribes, are within. If this really is the tomb of someone who protected ancient records, then perhaps the location to such places may be nearby, and if so, could ancient texts be close to hand? The archaeologists will never know if Karis was truly a soul friend to one or more pharaohs. However, he must have been highly regarded judging by his elaborate burial, the archaeologist noted. He was buried in a place reserved exclusively for members of the royal family and the highest state dignitaries. Consider where such a high-ranking person would fit into today's society. 
Could secrets be revealed in the tomb of Karis? That's all for now, guys. And before we go, we just wanted to give a shout out to the lovely Denise, who has been another superstar supporter of the channel all year, sending both the Lost History channel and the Buzzweaver channel messages of support almost every day. You guys have been truly awesome this year, and we hope you wear those t-shirts with pride. Also, we're going to play the results of the t-shirt giveaway right after this video where the winners have already been drawn. So if you have won a t-shirt, then please use the email address below to send in your size, color, name, and address. We will post those out around the 24th, and they take around two weeks for delivery. It's a bit of a wait, we know, but it will be worth it. For those who never won this month, there is always next month, guys, for the hoodie giveaway. We will speak with you in the comments, guys. As always, thank you for watching. Thank you.